good morning. If you talked about light 200, maybe even 100 years ago, people would have talked about illumination because that was what light was used for. Today, illumination may be one of the least impressive uses of light. We use light to look inside the body without cutting it open. We use it to explore the universe. We use it to study the health of structures as large as bridges or railway tracks or aeroplane wings. We use it to sense even the presence of parts per billion of some poisonous gas. So how can I use light to do all of this? Well, this course is a very, very first step on how you would do that. We will learn how to design and analyze optical systems that help us manipulate light or understand how light can give us this information. It's surprising that not many people today would can think of when I reach out for the internet and I try to Google something, it's light that is giving me that information. So this course is just a very, very early stepping stone in how we can build the systems that allow us to get access to this information or to design sensors that provide us more information. We'll start the course by looking at some classical geometric optics and then we'll move on to wave optics. And then we we'll look at a very small portion of applications because there's such a vast variety of them. It doesn't matter what background you come to this course, you may be a mechanical engineer, an electrical engineer, maybe a physicist. If you learn to speak the language of optics, you'll be able to help work with people who are designing these systems because optical systems are rarely just optical systems. They work along with other systems. And so this course will teach you the language of optics. Even if you're just curious as to why a CD breaks up light into its composite colors, why that phenomena is different from how a rainbow breaks up light, or you're curious about natural phenomena in the world, come take this course to learn about your universe and your world a little bit. Thank you.